Okay, I am doing the next set of tests. I'm running on about 75 milliamps. The last video I actually had it on AC instead of DC, which is very stupid, but it's in DC now, amperage in, so this is the amps in. And it's about 11 volts. Okay, so what I did is the test before, I had the generator coil output, eight coils, and I had them all in parallel, so it only made about 10 volts. And I ran the uh, back EMF flyback recoil recovery in series to that. So I had a combination of two power outputs killing the caps. Okay, so what I've done now is I've disconnected the generator coils. They're doing nothing, and I'm just going to test the flyback. Okay. Here's the motor going. Now, let me adjust this over. Okay, this is going to be the voltage in the final cap. The one that goes to the load. And I don't have a load on it now. I think that 1.5 ohms across the final caps really screwed things up. Uh, but that's another story. So now, right here, this is the voltage into the fill cap, which is still 1400 UF, which is quite large for recovering the flyback from a MOSFET. And I'm only drawing uh, 75 milliamps and 11 volts in. But anyways, so here is the flyback filling this cap. As soon as I connect this as soon as I connect this right here it's going to fill up with a flyback this cap bank. Okay? One, two, three, connect. Oops. God. Sorry, not a good connect. 25, 26, 27 volts. It's going to slowly climb up. That's how you know you're catching the spikes. I'm going to short that out now. So it's zero in the cap. Okay, here we go again. Okay, so it's about 23 volts instantly, and it slowly climbs. One more time. Okay, so that's what's in the flyback. Now, when I connect this 9-volt battery, this is going to turn on the... Uh, trigger side of these relays and, and now the uh, cap exchange circuit, let's call it that, the bucket brigade. And this is the, that's going to work as soon as I plug this in. And I have two hall effects and a couple trigger magnets. I explained that in a previous video. Okay, so when I connect this, this is going to fill up. And that's the fill cap, the end cap. I'm not even checking the, the in-between switching cap. Just the fill cap. Okay, oh, this is already up to 48 volts because I've been talking. And I just left the flyback going. So I need to short out the uh, flyback cap, the fill cap. One, two, three. It's quite a bit. Oh, it's connected. You see what happens when you uh, do not have it disconnected when you short it? You hear that?
Okay, so here we go. What I want to do, connect the flyback. 24 volts in that. Now I'm going to connect this battery and this is what's in the final cap with no load. goes up to 23, 24. So that's pretty good. The energy is getting there through the cap stages and there's no load on the end. Okay, so I'm going to short out the cap banks again. Oops, I did it again. I forgot to disconnect it. Okay, now let's see what happens with the draw when I fill up this cap bank, the first one. I'm going to leave this disconnected so the relays are not working. We just want to see what happens when you fill up this first cap bank with the recoil, the flyback, the spikes. Here we go. Here's the draw to the motor. As soon as I touch this, it's going to fill and you can watch the draw to the motor. Goes up to 10 very just for a second. Okay, let's do it one more time. Voltage is at zero. And as soon as I touch this, watch the voltage go up and watch what the draw to the motor is. One, two, three, touch. Okay. If I had a smaller cap bank, there would be no nothing at all. But this is a fairly big cap bank, so it does go up a little bit. But it's certainly not going up to 340 milliamps like we saw yesterday, and the engine slows really bad. So I'm going to call this uh, a video, and now I'm going to test the uh, generator coils doing the same thing. So what I've done now is separated the flyback spike energy from the generator coil energy. Yesterday I had it combined. And uh, so I'm going to make another video now. Okay. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Okay. Good work.